Hey guys, this video is going to be a tutorial for GIMP, and in this tutorial we're going to be making some glossy metal text like this. So let's get started. Go ahead and make a new image. You can use whatever size you want, but I'm going to be using 600 by 400 pixels. Change your background color to black, and set your foreground color to something else. I'm going to be using this red color. Then get out your blend tool, change the shape to radial, and click at about the middle of your canvas and drag towards one of the corners to make your gradient. Then make a new layer, and for this next step, um, I'm going to be using a pattern that I made myself. You can skip this step if you want, or you can download the pattern, I'll include the link. Um, so, choose your bucket fill tool and change to pattern fill and select the pattern that we're going to be using. Then fill your layer with the pattern. Set the layer's mode to soft light and lower the opacity to 60%. This gives us a nice texture in our background. Go ahead and get out your text tool and make sure your foreground color um, is set to white. The font I'm going to be using is called Walkway Bold. You can download this font for free at thefont.com. I'll include the link. And I'm going to be using a size of 150 pixels. So just click somewhere in your canvas and type your text. Next, get out your alignment tool. We're going to center the text, so change the drop down menu to image. Click on your text so you get these little boxes in the corners and then press these two buttons to center your text relative to the image. I'm going to go ahead and select my rectangle select tool just to get rid of those boxes. Right click on your text layer and choose alpha to selection. This creates a selection around the border of our text. Then make a new layer and go to select grow. And change this value to 10. Then make sure your foreground color is black. Choose your bucket fill tool. Change the fill type back to foreground color fill and fill in your selection with black. Make another new layer. Change your background color to a medium gray. Get out your blend tool again and change the shape back to linear and click down at the bottom and drag straight up like this. You can hold down the control key to make it perfectly straight. Then right click on your text layer and choose alpha to selection again. Go back to your new layer with the gradient and go to select grow. This time change the value to 2. Then press your delete key to erase that part of the gradient. Now right click on the gradient layer and choose alpha to selection so that the selection goes around the entire border of the gradient layer. Then make another new layer and change your foreground color to white and your background color to a darker gray like this. Then keeping your blend tool with the same settings, click up at the top and drag straight down. Then go to Select Shrink and leave it at the default value of 1 and press your Delete key to erase the rest of the selection. Go to Select None and lower that layer's opacity to about 60. So we just added a slight edge to the metal surface. Then go to this black layer and duplicate it twice. On the bottom two, select on this chain link button, click on one of them, and then get out your move tool. Change this um, mode to move the active layer. Click on the image and use your down arrow key to move the two layers down about 10 or 12 pixels. This should make it look kind of 3D. Then go ahead and uncheck these two chain links and make sure the bottom of the three layers is selected. We're going to turn this one into a shadow. So go to Filters, 
blur, Gaussian blur, and change this blur radius to 10. And you should still have your move tool, so click on the layer and use your down arrow key to move it down a couple more pixels, like about 5. Then lower the opacity to around 80. This gives us a nice little drop shadow. Next, select your text layer and move it up above the three black layers. Then use your move tool again to move the text down three pixels. This should make it look like the text is embedded down in the metal, which is the effect we're going for. Now all we have to do is make the metal look more shiny by adding a gloss layer. So make a new layer above everything else and right click on this gradient layer that's right above the text and choose alpha to selection. Then go back to the new layer and choose your rectangle select tool. Change this mode to intersect and drag out a selection like this. What this does is it take, took our original selection and kept only the part that overlaps with this rectangle. So now just click inside the rectangle to finalize the selection. Then get out your blend tool again, make sure your foreground color is still white, and your gradient is set to foreground to transparent, and still all linear. Then just drag straight up like this. Go to select none, and there you have it, your glossy metal text made in GIMP.